Even though it's been the case that Bernie Sanders outperforms Hillary Clinton in hypothetical matchups against Donald Trump, it's still the case that Hillary Clinton does beat Donald Trump in every single poll until today. So according to a new Rasmussen poll, Hillary Clinton is now within the margin of error with Donald Trump, and he is beating her by two points. So Donald Trump leads Hillary Clinton 41% to 39% out of a poll of 1,000 likely voters conducted through telephone, and 15% of voters prefer some other candidate, and 5% are undecided. Now, there are problems with this poll. It does appear to be an outlier because a new poll was released showing that Hillary Clinton does still beat Donald Trump by 13 points. Uh, and furthermore, 538 grades this polling company a C. So their polls are almost always skewed towards Republicans. So that's one thing to keep in mind. However, even when you account for this bias, it seems to be the case that polls between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are getting increasingly closer. So if it is the case that we have a general election between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, not only would that be just awful to watch, well, let's actually talk about what could happen. So first, let's go through the reasons as to why he will most likely not win against Hillary Clinton. Well, first of all, his support among minorities and women is terrible. And if you can't get women, which are over 50% of the population, or can't get any minority groups to support you, you're going to be in trouble come November. Now, furthermore, he has a lower net favorability rating among his own party than Hillary Clinton does among her own party. So in other words, Republicans hate Donald Trump more than Democrats hate Hillary Clinton. So that's another problem. And additionally, one other reason why she could beat him is because many establishment and moderate centrist Republicans, they may cross over and vote for Hillary Clinton over Donald Trump. This has been the case with John Kasich voters. Uh, you can watch videos on TYT of Jordan Sheraton interviewing John Kasich supporters saying they might actually cross the aisle if Donald Trump is the nominee. Now, additionally, on average, it is still the case that Hillary Clinton is defeating Trump in all hypothetical matchups. So she does have that going for her. And finally, Donald Trump is under scrutiny for fraud due to Trump University. So there's all those reasons why it's the case that Hillary Clinton will most likely beat Donald Trump. But on the other side of the coin here, there are reasons as to why Donald Trump could take this. So first and foremost, if turnout is low, Republicans always win. And Hillary Clinton does not pull in independents. She does not pull in youth voters. So if young people stay home, that could effectively hand the election over to Donald Trump. Donald Trump has crossover appeal. He's able to capture a lot of independents, more so than Hillary Clinton. And when it comes down to the general election, swing voters are typically the ones who decide who wins. Now, additionally, the most damaging thing that could happen is Hillary Clinton could get indicted during the general election. Now, look, we have no idea what's going to happen. CNN recently released the report alleging that the FBI found no criminal wrongdoing with Hillary Clinton, but who knows, I'm going to wait until there's a more reputable source because CNN is directly in the tank for Hillary Clinton, seeing that their parent company, uh, Time Warner, is one of Hillary Clinton's biggest donors. So they have a vested interest in Hillary Clinton. They've invested millions of dollars into her. So they want to make sure that she is not going to be indicted, but we have no idea. So again, this is all speculation, but she's still being investigated by the FBI. And yes, it is a criminal investigation. So many of Hillary's supporters will say that Bernie Sanders supporters, they're just adopting right-wing talking points to attack Hillary Clinton. But if you're not paying attention to this, something that, one, she's going to be attacked for just in general because she's being investigated, uh, and two, the fact that it could happen, well, we're just being precautious. We're being smart because we don't want a bad man like Trump to win. So you have all of these reasons why Hillary could win and why Trump could win. Currently, there's more reasons as to why Hillary could win, but anything could happen. So I'm not willing to discount Trump. I'm not willing to count him out. Many media pundits are brushing him off saying, look, he's never going to win, but they did that before with him and he steamrolled through the Republican primary. So now it's the case that there's not even going to be a contested convention. He will win the Republican primary and become the nominee outright with 1,237 delegates. That's basically guaranteed at this point. So I am not willing to take Trump for granted. I think he could win, but I don't know who's going to win. It's, it's up in the air. So we have to look at all these different types of variables and figure out who has the best chance. Currently, I think there's more reasons why Hillary will win over Trump. But at the same time, I'm not willing to say she's going to win. It's most likely the case she's going to win. Who knows? So even though this poll is an outlier, you need to take every single poll seriously because it is the case that Donald Trump could be our next president. 
And that's a scary thought. But it's also a scary thought that Hillary could be our next president. So either way, we're screwed. But look, who knows what's going to happen? Uh, let's just hope that somehow Bernie Sanders pulls this off.